Thank you very much, Chairman Scott and Ranking Member Dr. Fox, and thank you, Secretary Cardona, for such a long time uh, hearing today. We have spoken a couple of times about the Harvard Asian discrimination case, and I would like to submit for the record a recent Amicus brief I led on the students for fair admissions versus Harvard and UNC. Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry, without objection. Thank you. Your administration also filed the brief. The brief said the Harvard admissions intends to treat every applicant as an individual, yet the current administration appears to support Harvard and their racially discriminatory admission policies. Asian American applicants are routinely rated lower than applicants of other races on traits like positive personality, likability, courage, kindness, and being widely respected. How is this not discrimination? As a secretary of education, is it okay for a university to discriminate against a student because they are Asian? Is that treating each applicant as an individual? Um, thank you for, for that, uh, Representative Steele. Uh, we are firmly in support of uh, providing all students opportunities and, and uh, fighting against discrimination. I know we have staff looking into that specific issue, and I'd be happy to have my staff follow up with you on where we are with that and uh, kind of the updates on any information we have on that. Thank, thank you, you very much. Mr. Secretary, how, how would you score me on my likability or courage traits? If you will give me a low score, you don't have to answer this. I understand the line of questioning and I understand why you're asking it. And uh, we'll have my staff look into you, uh, look, look into it and provide you an update. But um, I do appreciate your advocacy uh, on behalf of the students you represent. Will you commit to requiring schools that receive Title IV funding to have fully transparent and easily accessible admissions policies. Do you agree that if students are being scored on personality traits, students, their parents, and the public have the right to know how use of personality traits in making admissions decisions? Yeah, parents should know. It should be very clear how the decisions are being made. Uh, that's critically important. I think, you know, those are decisions that have to be looked at too when parents are deciding schools. Uh, so I, big supporter of transparency, clarity around it, and making sure that universities are able to explain how they select students for admission. Mr. Secretary, as a parent, I believe the school choice is good for my family. The federal government should never create rules that pick winners and losers. The charter school program allows for additional high quality schooling options that close the achievement gap for low income families. And I heard today's, during the, today's hearing that you support charter schools. Why are your intentions to limit choice by proposing new burdensome rules on the charter school program? Um, we do support high quality schools, uh, neighborhood schools, charter schools um, that are uh, serving children. As I said before, I've seen great examples of them. I've highlighted examples of them. Um, and I do believe the proposals, and they're just proposals at this point, are reasonable. Uh, we wanna make sure uh, across the board, not just with public charters, but all schools, that there's a great level of transparency and accountability. Uh, we know that in many places, our charter schools are places of innovation. And we would love, we would encourage uh, connections between our charter schools and our neighborhood schools, uh, but it's not a requirement. Um, so we feel they're reasonable. We're listening to the feedback that we have, and we're taking that into account as we move forward with whatever recommendations we're going to put out. Steele, you you uh, got on mute inadvertently. Doctor, I'm yelled back my rest of the time to Dr. Fox. 